So I have Kat here with me who's in the third trimester and I think you're about to pop, right? I am. Very soon. So here's some exercises that actually Kat has done through pregnancy and they're very, very safe. So hopefully this will help you. But I also do think walking, swimming, great forms of exercise to burn calories and keep feeling fit and healthy. Okay, so the first exercise we're going to start with, you're going to be on a quadruped position. So I want you to cat to go up into, so your knees are underneath your hips and you're going to put your hands right underneath your shoulders. Now what this is going to do is, she's going to exhale, I want you to make sure your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Can you see that? Right here and then a hips are on top of her knees. So we're going to inhale, on the exhale you're going to push away and I want you to breathe into the lower back, so really round like a cat, like an angry cat, there we go. So she's opened up a lower back that gets very, very tight and then she's going to exhale and extend out. Good, let's try that again. So exhale, draw those abdominals in, 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 that's it. And then I want you to this time inhale and extend out, perfect. Can you continue to do that for me? So you exhale, round. So she's rounding out that lower back, stretching out that tight back. Inhale, now she's going into an extension to stretch out that lower back and really extend the upper spine. And again, let's try it again. Two more. And extend that thoracic spine. Let's do one more. So she's rounding, rounding, really open, pulling to my hands a little bit higher. There we go. And then extend out. Come back in the middle of those two positions for me, Kat. So in the middle. So now she's supporting, she's using a transverse. I like to say she's hugging the baby with her abdominals. So think of hugging the baby with your abs. Pull your shoulder blades down. Now we're going to work on some core abdominal workout to support that lower back and also to support the pelvis. Alrighty? So you're going to reach out with your right hand all the way out, drawing those abs even more. Hug that baby. That's it. There you go. Now reach out the opposite leg. We call this the superman, but for you it's a superwoman, okay? She's the superwoman. <laughs> Hold it there. Now in that position, I want you to really focus on drawing those abdominals in and keeping your hips square. Now you're going to hold that for about 10 seconds. All right, well, that was 10 seconds. <laughs> and then bring your knee down and your hand down. Let's switch to the other side. Keep those abdominals and then reach out and hold it there. We want to be careful that the hips are square, okay? So your hips are square and up. See, so test your balance, but that's good because your abdominals are in gear and your abdominals are working there and holding it. Obviously, she's in the third trimester. She might just want to do this with the knee down and she's just using her arms or she could just do the legs without the arm and legs together, okay? So here she is, she's doing the legs, bring it down the other leg and then bring it down. She could do the arm separate, arm forwards, extending that spine, feels good. Other side and then back down. And if you want to further get some aesthetic booty lifting, obviously if she lifts her leg behind, pull those abs in and then she could do little pulses but teeny tiny. It's really important that you're not arching that back, drawing those abdominals in and then she can lift through the glute and hamstring because I know when you're pregnant, believe me, you don't feel so great in that area so if you can do these glutes and hamstrings it really supports your pelvis too, okay? Let's come back into child's pose. So you're going to open your knees like this to let a little bit more space for the baby and we're going to go forwards and stretch it out. Okay, so there she is, she's stretching out. If you can get your partner, which is really nice, to press mildly down there and put him to some good use, <laughs> to stretch out that lower back. Okay, the next exercise we're going to move into is, we're going to come forward, so you're going to roll all the way up, cat, and you're going to come forward into this position here. Your feet are about the same width as the mat, so you're here. Reaching out through your hamstring, so lengthening out, reach your hands forward. Now you're in this position, for most people you're going to feel that stretch, you feel that stretch already? Now you're going to roll down and all I want you to do is reach towards your toes. Oh, is that about it? <laughs> That's about it. And now we're going to go from here, we're going to extend the arms up. Now she's in this position here, I want you to imagine you're reaching out through the heels. I'm going to give her a little stretch, I'm going to take her into the thoracic and then lifting up. Now she's working, lift up and down, little tiny small movements. She's working a mid upper back. 
because when you're pregnant, obviously the weight is forwards, the back is arched, so you get an incredible amount of problems in that lower back. So we need to work those abdominals to really focus on those abs and pull them under. So when you're doing this exercise count, it's really focusing on opening up that mid upper back, which is really important because that's where we get a lot of problems. And then roll back again. Let's do a few of those just to show them. Lift up, inhale here. Exhale, breathe out, roll. Practice your breathing, you're gonna be needing it. Hold it there. And then roll back again, one more time. Exhale, shh. extend, now hold it here and I want you to hit your right. Move those from your shoulders. Move up and up and up. Press the energy out through those heels. Up, there we go. So she's working on a mid upper back, beautiful posture exercises and you'll feel the stretch in those hamstrings. And then slowly roll back again. Woo. All right, one last exercise just to stretch it out. We're gonna come from here and all I want you to do is take the leg across. Good, hold that stretch. Now, all we're gonna do is rotate to the back wall and rotate. Now, what she's doing is she's stretching out her legs and I want you to hold it there. And let's switch to the other side. And then stretch, that's it. So you can see how she's stretching here. I want you to bend your knee a little bit more. There you go. Now she's stretching out through the glute and the piriformis which sometimes gets very, very tight and can cause sciatica in pregnancy. So we really want to stretch out the piriformis as much as we can because the sciatic nerve either runs through it or above or behind it and it can get tight and impact on the sciatic nerve. So stretching out the glute exercise like this really helps. Hold it there. And another exercise would be really good if you're sitting down and you're just crossing the leg in front is also a good exercise. And if you can get there, there yeah, you're very flexible. Yeah, you must have been working out very hard. And we stretch here, and that's a really great stretching exercise too for the glutes and the hamstrings. It feels good. Feels good. Let's switch to the other leg. We've got to be even here, and then just press down. And then pivot a little bit forwards so your belly is over your leg. And you want to breathe in those exercises too. Breathing, inhaling, exhaling, releasing the stress, releasing the tension. And then roll all the way up. So remember, it's important that you do some kind of stretching activity, some kind of strengthening of the core just to support your pelvis, stretching of that lower back, working on that mid upper back to really open up your chest because it gets very convex forward, strengthen that mid upper back for a better posture and obviously you'll get a, a much easier pregnancy and we're all much happier. So hope that helps. Don't forget to send in your questions. Bye. I think I'm in labor. <laughs> <laughs>